Hey guys, so what are we talking about? We're talking about deck lid filler panel. I haven't seen much videos about changing this out. It's fairly straightforward, that might be why. But if you're not aware of the fact that this, this is just the skin. What can really rust out is under here. Okay. If anyone wants an actual video on how to replace this, let me know. But there's spot wells here, just as an overview. Spot wells here, spot wells here, spot wells in here, and over here. Remove those, it comes out. Um, but what I want to talk about is not necessarily this. It's really here. I had to cut out and replace this. I did not know this was rusted. That looked good. The only problem, the only reason I bought this was because I, I honestly don't know how to even start to fabricate this. I fabricated that piece, this section up, I fabricated. This, no idea. Between this curve, this curve, and the bends, no idea how to fabricate it. So I was like, all right, it's like a, I think at the time it was like 40 or $50 piece. I'll just buy the piece, chop here out and replace it. For some reason or the other, I had to climb into the car and look up. When I looked up, I saw that most of this was missing. So I decided at that point that I was going to replace this whole thing and then afterwards also fabricate something for here to to fix it and make it i just use this side as a reference and then i just kept going until it looked like that okay um so that's just the pointer to look at if it was just rusted other than that this bracket which is your your trunk lid bracket or your hinge, it, it basically attaches your hinge. These are your hinge bolts for your trunk lid. You have to remove these two spot wells. On it. Uh, well, if it's not rusted out already, mine was pretty much rusted out already, so I just had to do a little prying and it came out. But that's it for the trunk lid filler panel. Now what I'm going to do to the car moving forward is I got about three weeks and I'm getting the car dustless sandblasted. Now if anyone doesn't know what that process involves, it's like sandblasting the car except using water. So there's less, there's, it's less aggressive on the car and it's also less dust in the air. Okay. So they usually operate in, as a mobile business. The whole setup or the whole rig is on a trailer, so they're pretty mobile. So they'll come to you. They just charge you for gas and or diesel gas and all of that, which uh, on average is about three hundred dollars an hour. Right? They might have a min, but if you're telling them you're doing a whole car, then they know you probably satisfy that min. I satisfied the min, so I um. I'm getting the whole thing because you see all areas like this you take for granted but this 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 stuff takes a while to blast or, or to to use one of these discs or one of those wheels to clean and you might not do as good a job as a blaster so if you can get the car dipped or blasted you know sand or dustless you know get get it done so you got a good foundation now I'm trying to replace out this panel and also clean up my wells and clean up over there why that has no impact on the dustless blasting it, it it's irrelevant for it what's important is that once it's done being blasted to avoid getting this back, I have to epoxy the car as soon as possible. But in order to epoxy the car, or in order to epoxy the car the way I want, I would prefer more of this replaced. Because you can see all here, you can see all this, and I 
think I showed the back already. You can see that there. Maybe I can zoom in. Yeah, that sucks. So I'm doing all of the prep work I can to get the car as good as I can get it so that once he's done, I can immediately push it into the shop and and uh, get it going. Now, the other, well, the area of which I'd like some advice. He is saying that I should do the bottom of the car. So if I can get access to a rotisserie, I should do so. Now, I don't know how I feel about doing the bottom. I don't really think it needs it, to be honest. The bottom, it looks fairly decent. If we take a look at the bottom, uh, I gotta get on all four. You can see there's some rust there. There's some rust here, but I can deal with this. Most of the bulk of the bottom is done. You know, like I, I, I welded in new stuff. So I'm, I'm more hesitant against him doing the back, the, the bottom. But let me know what you guys think. If, if I should try and find a way for him to do the bottom as well based on what you guys see here, okay? Now, all of this, this is gonna come out. This, this whole assembly is gonna come out and um, this will all be bare either way because I'm definitely, I'm not gonna get a, I, I may not, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do about getting a rotisserie yet, but I'm definitely gonna build a wood body cart and get this on that so that I can um, get him to get him the car outside. So let me know what you guys think. You might not hear from me for a while. I'll respond to comments. I'll respond to any questions. If anyone has any input on how this process goes other than what I said, which is what I heard from him. If anyone has any comments on this process, let me know or any things that they would or any things that I should do before he gets here. All right, please like and subscribe, comment. Thanks.